In this video, we will demonstrate how to create and manage a schedule, subscription, and a notification. A schedule is the execution of a task at a specific time interval. A subscription is a personal execution of a report at a specific time interval. And a notification is the ability to receive notifications of a previously saved report in which the output has been updated. In order to schedule, you must select an object, in this case a report. Click on the More button beside the report and click the Properties button. From here, click on the Schedule tab, then click on the New button, then Create Schedule a panel will appear. The Schedule option allows you to pick what type of schedule you would like. Under Period, you can choose the Start and End Date. Note, when selecting the end date, the option for no end date is available. This next section controls the frequency of when the report will execute. As well, these options change depending on the schedule. Here, we can set the time when the report will execute. In the Options section, a user can choose what type of output they want. They can specify a delivery method, store prompt values, and set a default language. If PDF is one of the output types, there are additional options in this panel to set a password to open the PDF or a password to access the PDF options. When your schedule is complete, click the Create button. You will get a visual indication that the schedule was created. And the main view provides a summary of the schedule details, including output types and frequency. You will also be able to enable and disable the schedule, and if necessary, delete it. When the schedule executes, you can see the output by clicking on the More button beside the report, and click View Versions. This panel will list the different times the report was scheduled to execute. Click on one of the entries to see the available output formats. Click on one of the formats to view the report output. In order to subscribe to a report, you must first run it. Once the report is executed, click on the More button in the top right corner. Click Subscribe. Here you are presented with a panel where you can set the days of the week to execute the report, the time, the format, and the delivery options. Once finished, click the Create button. You will get a visual indication that the subscription has been created. When your subscribed report is ready to view, an indicator will show beside the notifications. Click Notifications, click on the message, and click one of the output formats to view the report. A user can see all their subscriptions that they have created by clicking on the Personal Menu button and selecting My Subscriptions. From here, a user can manage all their subscriptions from modifying the subscription times, view all outputs of subsequent runs, and delete any subscription. The graph at the top shows the number of enabled and disabled subscriptions the user has, and if you want to disable the subscription, simply uncheck the Enabled option for that subscription. To enable a notification, select a report which has saved output. Click on the More button at the top right of the screen, select Notify Me. You will get a visual indication that the notification has been created. When a new version of the output is available, an indicator will show beside Notifications. Click on the notification and you will see a message that the report is ready to view. Click on the message and click one of the output formats to view the report. To remove a notification when the output is showing on the screen, you can click on the More button and select Stop Notifying Me. 